It's the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, the 2nd of February. I'm James Spann. Hey, first off, a reminder, the annual weather tour begins this week. We've been doing this for 18 years. We tour across the great state of Alabama, getting people ready for the spring tornado season. And a little different format this year. Uh, we're going to be at all of these sites between 4 and 6.30. It's basically a meet and greet kind of thing. We have some cool things to give away. You can come by and talk with us, ask questions, get your weather radio program. I'll be speaking briefly at 5.30 at all of these sites. And you can watch me do the weather on ABC 3340. We'll be in uh, Ashland this evening and Cedar Bluff on Thursday evening. So we hope to see you along the way. Check the big picture this morning. Another big trough rotating through the east. That brought the rain to the state. A few thunderstorms yesterday and last night. And it will pull down much colder air today and more snow in the northeast. Of course, this thing buried Chicago and uh, snowing pretty heavily this morning. New York City and Boston uh, with rain to the south. Temperatures around the deep south. You can kind of pick out the front. It's uh, obviously between Birmingham and Atlanta. Atlanta's still in the low 50s. Macon, Georgia, sitting at 60, but the cold air wins it today. We'll have a strong north wind. Temperatures will be dropping, and uh, yeah, look here. This is the radar at uh, 517. It's a little drizzle, a few snow flurries over northeast Alabama, and we'll maintain the uh, chance of those through the morning hours, but no impact with surface temperatures above freezing and the deeper moisture off to the east. Really cold up in the north under that big snow cover. Uh, Iowa and Minnesota, uh, places like Des Moines and Chicago, and they were just buried with snow yesterday and last night. Winter storm warnings for much of the northeast United States for today and tonight, but down here things are quiet. We note a winter weather advisory for extreme north Georgia uh, for a little light snow there maybe this morning, but I don't think they'll have too many problems. There are no issues at all for Atlanta. This is the overall rain for the next five days, valid through Saturday morning. And really, this next system uh, seems to be just, it's not phased up. The, the surface low is pretty far to the south. It's not going to rain much at all here. Uh, Wednesday night or Thursday, we'll show you that as we go. Take a look at modeling. This is the GFS, the OZ run, valid today at noon at 500 millibars. Big trough in the east down below that. An intense surface low is just south of... Uh, uh, New England, like they need more of that, but they've got it, more snow. And again, you can see the cold air advection going on here, the tight gradient. It's going to be windy and cold with the uh, temperatures just sitting in the 30s much of the day. And maybe a few flurries this morning. Tomorrow, tomorrow morning's going to be pretty cold. Uh, we'll see lows, uh, I'd say, between 22 and 25. The colder pockets could be in the teens. And then the day will be mostly sunny with a high around 50. This is Wednesday. Uh, we warm up nicely. Thickness values are higher. The high should be in the mid to upper 50s. It'll feel pretty good. And we've got two distinct systems, a northern branch system producing snow across the plains and a southern branch system producing rain down in the Gulf. Uh, but this is suggesting the day Wednesday will be dry. Now, this is Wednesday night at midnight. The northern branch system producing some light snow over parts of Tennessee and northern Arkansas. The southern system producing rain over South Alabama, and we're in between all of that where nothing is happening. And I think this is the right solution. The uh, European is on board with this too. And then Thursday morning at 6 o'clock, the rain in South Alabama is tapering off. There could be a little light snow over the Tennessee Valley uh, Thursday morning. But uh, again, I just don't see much impact, if anything, at all here. Temperature should be a little above freezing, moisture limited, much like this morning. And then by midday Thursday, everything kind of winds down. And you can see the freeze line is up in Tennessee. It'll be a chilly day Thursday. The high will be in the 40s here with clouds and kind of breezy conditions. But it just looks like the, we're in between everything. So we'll mention maybe just a slight chance of some light rain Wednesday night or Thursday morning. Maybe it's little light snow over the Tennessee Valley, and that's about it. And then Friday, looking a whole lot better. The sky will be sunny. We start to warm up nicely, the high in the upper 50s. And Saturday should be a really nice day to start the weekend. A good chance we see 60. The sky will be sunny. And Sunday, we'll call it partly sunny. Um, you know, moisture to the north, I think it'll be dry. And mid-60s, GFS is printing 64. I like that. Here's Monday of next week, uh, big ridging uh, over the western half of the nation, got a trough on the east coast, and that might squeeze out 
I don't know, a drizzle or something Monday morning. But again, it's obviously no big deal. Uh, looks like Monday will be cooler uh, in the wake of the trough with a high dropping back in the low 50s. But no real, you know, super big events here in the next seven days. Kind of quiet. We'll check the end of the forecast. This is the 11th of February, and it's the same idea. We've got ridging in the west and troughing in the east, but the core of the trough is up there in uh, Canada. Uh, it's much colder over the northeast United States, but down here just looks uh, not too bad. Rather quiet, maybe a bit of drizzle if this is right. And you can see in the ensembles, these numbers are just not bad. In fact, uh, this is suggesting maybe beginning this weekend through much of next week, we see highs up in the low 60s and lows in the 40s. And that's a great disappointment to the snow lovers. But as I remind everybody, look, this is a low-latitude state. It doesn't snow here a lot. Never has, never will. If you want snow all the time, head north. And most folks up in the north would give anything for a forecast that looks like that. Arctic Oscillation kind of hugs the neutral line over the next 15 days. And the NAO, no big uh, trends there. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on the live stream of the television site, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.